When you're using PowerPoint, you may realize that the colors are set in a scheme called RGB. And frequently, when you're looking at colors, you'll see that when I use this tool, the color contrast tool, that it actually sets a hex color. So if I click on this pink here, it gives me the hex code. And so you know that the hex code isn't going to translate natively into RGB. So let's look at our colors again. We're going to go back to design and then we're coming over here to the colors and we're going to edit our tutorial color set and you'll see when I open up one of the colors and go to more colors it's going to give me the RGB values for that color. Now if I've used the color contrast tool to select colors I won't know what those are unless I can translate them. So let's go back and let's look at how we can affect a change by selecting the colors here. So if I come to the color palette again and say I'm trying to pick two colors that might go together and you'll see that it's real obvious whether they work or not. So if I have this dark green and I want the text in the front to be dark green, what color would work well with that? And so what you see right now is that the dark green doesn't even pass with the white. So I'd have to have a darker tone of this. So let's go down here and go to the darker tone and you see there it passes. But I won't know exactly how to put that in to the color set here in PowerPoint. Now what's fortunate is that I have a website that you can go to where you can take those color codes. So let's look at our color code for green. It's 007040. And then I come to the website and I'll put the address down here so you can see it. And then I come over here to the hex and I type in the 007040 and it gives me the RGB color which is 0, 112, 64. Now if I go back to my PowerPoint and let's say I want to change the color again. I come to the colors and then edit the tutorial set and let's say this green color here, the accent 6, is the one we want to change the color of. So I would come down here to more colors and then I would actually type in the values. So it has 0 red, it has 112 green, and it has 64 blue. And I click OK and then I save that set and that color has now changed. And again let's take the color contrast and you see we've already done that and we know that it's passed on all levels except for AAA which you don't have to do for Section 508 compliance. And the other thing that happens of course when you change the color is that when you come to the other slides where they're using those colors they've changed as well. Now we're going to move into our third lesson and that has more to do with color design issues and things that might help you improve the actual look and feel for your presentations.